Hello everyone and welcome back to Passion Sundays, the best way to end the week and start another. Our guest today helps people connect with themselves more consciously so they can live more passionately. Yana Lakshmi, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you so much, Mustafa, for inviting me. I mean, connecting with ourselves, one of the most important topics when you're talking about living with passion. So tell me more about what you do. Well, you know, first of all, it is really important to understand that each one of us here is for the higher purpose. And that's my true belief. And this is the message that I also try to bring out from people, no matter what they do. So when you come here, then it is, you know, in our world when it is people so consumed by just getting things and achieving results and what you said and higher and bigger and I mean I saw your presentation so I know you have been there so it is just so we're so socially conditioned to constantly be more and better but it is not always aligned with who we really are mm. and a big part of this is to understand actually what is your true essence and what you personally really want and then helping to align your entire life and your business and your organization around it so that it doesn't feel like work, you know, it doesn't feel like you have to really sacrifice anything. Okay, and how would you be able to find that inner connection? Well, you have to, you know, first of all, ask yourself a question, what I'm doing right now, does it really make me happy? Like if I will be really, really honest with myself and I wouldn't listen like to my spouses, my parents, my friends, my children, my, you know, my business partners, like what I'm doing right now in this exact moment in life, does it really bring me true happiness if I don't count all those people? And if it doesn't, then there is something there has to be changed. Okay. And the challenge here is sometimes we get sad about the short-term results. Yes. And we need to see the bigger picture. So how do you differentiate the answer when does it really make me happy now because things are tough mm -hmm. uh, and it's worth fighting for still mm -hmm. versus no, this is really never going to make me happy? Mm, this is actually a very, very good question. You know, this is where it all comes to the bigger picture and to really seeing your life from the point of a mission and a message and the legacy that you want to live. So if you really look at the future, like, I don't know, five, ten years from now, or even better, before you die, right? So what it is that you would like to live in this world after you're gone? I mean, is it really the amount of money you made? I mean, if it is, it's beautiful, but then how are you going to spend it? You know, it's one thing when you become very wealthy and the other thing if you also give back to the society. Mm. So if you have this long-term goal that you know when you're gone will be something remain after you on this planet. And then you could be in the short term a little bit unhappy when you're going there because we all have to go through ups and downs, right? So I'm not saying it's a completely easy road. Of course it is not. But then the sacrifice is worth it. And then it's where it comes, you know, also interesting is the actually tantric Buddhism studies. I just got back from Bhutan mm -hmm. and we were talking about this there with monks, that in the tantric Buddhism, there is no such thing as pain or pleasure. It's the same, right? So because then when you enjoy life, when you go through life, it doesn't matter whether you're up or down, it's all equal. Mm -hmm. And so you're happy no matter whether you feel good or bad, you're still happy. That's so point. what you're using the term happiness for is what I call fulfillment. Yeah, not, not the typical yeah, happiness that, that people be. are seeking. Yeah, fulfillment is that inner, that inner peace, that inner contentment rather than an external value of happiness. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and how easy is it to understand what is that that gives us that fulfillment and contentment? Mm, another good question. <laughs> This all comes from asking yourself, you know, tough questions, you know, because it's what you said, you know, what people define whether it is happiness or fulfillment, it's a different thing for different people. So you really have to ask yourself what it is for me. So for someone, it could be, I don't know, it could be a huge company with a lot of, you know, success and global domination, and they can be truly happy with that because then they're going to step a foundation and give back to the society. And some other people, they completely want to get rid of everything and they go on their journey for some time. And this is how they find their fulfillment and then they come back and integrate it. You know, so it's like there's no one recipe, but it all comes from the honest answer and truth with yourself. Mm. Once again, what do I want? If I... The point is, if I don't listen to any other people, any social media, you know, like any tele television or anything, if I just go inside of myself and I ask, what do I want? This mm. is where the fulfillment comes from. Beautiful. 
So what do you want is, again, another deep question that I've spent years researching and studying that question. And I found that sometimes we don't know what we want. And maybe what we want in the moment is different than what we want in a bigger picture. Mm -hmm. uh, what would be your distinction? Mm. What do I want now because I want food now because I'm hungry mm -hmm. is different than I want to change the world because that's my bigger picture. But if I'm hungry, it's tough for me to think about changing the world. Yes. I would say here it's important to distinguish between your mind and your heart and your higher self. You know, because mm. most of the time what we want comes from our mind. Yes. Like I want food, I want shelter, yes. I want money, I want success, I want recognition. Yes. Right? I want to be accepted. So it's mm. all mind. So I would completely ask the mind to wait outside yes. for this conversation. And then you have to ask your questions, either your heart or even better, your higher self. Yeah. Like there's a lot of conversations these days about leading from the heart, living from the heart, you know, making decisions from your heart, right? So if you focus on that, you're closer to the truth of what truly brings you fulfillment. Yeah. Yet, for, for me, uh, the kind of ultimate answer to this, if you really find a way to connect with your higher self, because then you don't have those questions anymore. So when you connect to your higher self, you don't really ask yourself, what do I want? Mm. Because then there's no such thing as I, right? Because then you know it's so interconnected. Mm. So you just go day to day completely in trust that it's going to be the right moment, the right person, the right opportunity. And you will be able to see it and recognize it. And then when you take it, it's going to be the next step. So it's like an ultimate surrender when you just give yourself to life and it will always bring you to the beautiful place for you. From my I, personal experience. I love it. This has <laughs> been an amazing place, and I'm sure this interview is going to take everybody to a very beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Yana, thank you very much for being thank with you us so today. Much, really appreciate it. Thank you. Passion. What do you think? I really hope you found this episode as useful and as exciting as I did. If so, please leave your comments on the blog below and share it with your friends and those who might benefit from it. And if you'd like more tools, tips, techniques, and exclusive interviews that I only share on my website, go to mustafa.com. And until next episode, live passionately.